real sort of technical benefits that you've managed to achieve using the RP3 that you've brought onto the water as well? Yeah. So I would say it's definitely the leg drive that is uh, much more comparable to the to the boat. So if you really push your legs very fast and really um, start with the movement of the legs uh, on the RP3, what is kind of uh, a, sim a symbol for a good stroke compared to a lot of body work in the first part of the stroke. Um, I think that's something I was really able to transform well in the boat and what also helped me to to improve my technique and, and boat speed in the end because I was much looser um, after using the RP3 um, on a high intensity session uh, compared to the um, to the concept two um, in my shoulders. So um, when the shoulders are loose and you only push through your legs, then uh, you save a lot of energy and the boat is moving moving better. So there's something I really uh, liked and experienced uh, in my training. Yeah, I think that's, that's very recognizable again. So um, if you grab too much on your upper body or you engage it too much, then um, you can see this sort of dip at the, the second part of the power curve. And um, by focusing a bit on that and then translating that into the boat, and yeah, well, it, it felt more like the things that I was already trying to improve in the boat, that they also um, benefit the, the score on RP3. So uh, for me, it really helps then that both of these tools sort of achieve the same result.